Hi guys, Andy here in the shed again, messing about with the welding gear. I've um, I've got hold of one of those little mini uh, gas welding sets. I kept seeing them on uh, the internet, eBay, Amazon, popping up. I'm always looking at different kind of welding gear, uh, and these kept popping up. I thought I've got to try one. They come with um, a few different nozzles. Um, and I know they're like a, a mini set, more for like uh, craft and jewellery. But uh, I just had to try one to see exactly, you know, how, how good they are. So I've got it out of the packaging. Um, it's, a, it's a nice little thing, actually. Uh, I mean, if it, if it works okay, it's it feels lovely. It's just down to the capabilities um, for me. Uh, I, I do more bigger work, I suppose, rather than fine, like jewellery kind of stuff. So I'm hoping it's a little bit more capable than uh, well, what I expected, really. So I've, I've hooked it up to the um, fire a couple of these little uh, brass adapters. I've hooked it hooked it up to the, uh, the my normal gas welding as oxyacetylene pipes, and um, I'm going to hook it up to the big boys to start with. Um, to the oxyacetylene and uh, see how we get on with those then I will be trying it with the um, the propane and um, the oxygen concentrator as well which I've got which I've, if you haven't saw my other videos please check out a video of this um, this is my new oxygen source so when the when the big boy the oxygen tank runs out I won't be buying another one I'll just be uh, using the oxygen that's supplied by this medical oxygen machine. And then I'll hope to be trying it on uh, the MAP gas, the, the smaller propane bottle and uh, the butane and propane mix. Um, just for you know the sake of it really. So, so I know what the capabilities are, the different gases and the size of it. Uh, as to my own uses, how I'm going to make use of it, if any. I've got the other small uh, welding kit there, so um, yeah, I'm just excited to, to see what it's capable of. Okay, so torch ready, we're all um, hooked up via my little uh, brass adapters um, into the, uh, the big boys, turned on. Uh, not too much pressure. I don't think we need too much pressure for that little torch and uh, we're going to light it up ready to go But um, Before I light up um, any joints that I've just done I like to perform what I call the sniff test um, If you've got a little bit of oxygen leaking, it doesn't really matter does it? You're just wasting a little bit of uh, your gas um, But I just did a, did a little sniff test and as you can see I always use the uh, PTFE tape on the uh, the settling joints because if you get a little bit of uh, gas leaking out of that and a spark um, ignites it, you know you're in trouble. So uh, I just done a sniff test and uh, I can sniff a settling on that. So I'm just going to redo that um, before we start. I think that's always really important to do, guys. Uh, exactly the same here. I've got the little clip on there. <laughs> I'm only using very low pressure. It's, it's barely shown on the gauge. If, that, if there's a little bit coming out there, it's not the end of the world, is it? I should have done it really, but it, it doesn't matter is what I'm saying. So there's the sniff test is, is always uh, something I always perform. So we've, we've resealed the uh, acetylene joint, uh, done the sniff test, no acetylene leaking. You can really tell this, the smell of acetylene, it's a horrible smell. Uh, so there's nothing there and uh, we're ready to light up and go and I have got the uh, always got the uh, the flashback arresters on guys always got them on I think they're so important even though that they're these little um, torches seem like a little fun craft toy uh, you are messing about with uh, some dangerous gases so uh, I think it's important to have your your flashbacks on Okay, so uh, acetylene on. Yeah, pretty little flame. 
and a little bit of oxygen real oxygen this is out of the cylinder yeah it's a lovely little flying we'll just turn that off and give it a little bit more pressure on the cylinders okay I've just turned it up to about uh, seven seven on the uh, the ox the cylinders and uh we'll see if that gives us any more any better flying bit bigger yeah that's a, that's a little bit a little bit better let's see what it's capable of on the, the metal this is quite thick metal actually uh, not doing a lot there not doing a lot we'll turn it off um, we've got some more nozzles there uh, one to five five being the biggest I'm going to put number five on and, and see what that says okay so we'll try that with the number five nozzle the biggest of the set that's a that's a bigger flame Oh yeah, that's that's quite a little. It's quite a bit bigger. See what that does here. Oh yeah, it's definitely uh, definitely considerably hotter, bigger, and uh, that. Okay, as I said, that's this is quite thick metal, and that's um, heating that up pretty good. So what I think I'm going to be trying with this gun uh, is I've got these little uh, what, nozzle cleaners, they're like little files. I'm going to try and uh, make the, the nozzle a little bit bigger there, uh, see if we can get a bit more power out of that to uh, get more a bit more capability from it. Uh, and also I'm going to be trying it on the different gases, uh, the butane and propane, uh, the MAP gas, and I'm going to be trying it on the oxygen medical oxygen machine see what we can get out of it but uh, uh i think i'm gonna go and get my tools in from outside now it's starting to rain so uh, please check out my other videos of me messing around with this a uh, little bit more but um yeah it's all right nice little gun for what it is uh depending on what you what you want to do with it um so please have a look at my other videos uh and give me a little like and subscribe cheers guys